Since October 7th, we have been reporting on sharp increases of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism all around the world. That's the day the militant group Hamas launched an attack on Israel. Six months later here at home, the Davis Police Department's conducting a hate crime investigation after Israeli flags were ripped down and stolen from two homes. KCRA 3's Bernie Hope shows us the surveillance video that captured the crime on camera. There's a sign we have in the yard that you'll see all over Davis, which is Davis is for everyone. It's one of many symbols posted and pinned across Suzanne Crago Schneider's Davis home. You know, the truth is, it's just surprising. Surprising when she says her Israeli flag on display was ripped down and stolen. To me, it's an invasion. You, you came to my home, you came right up to my window, and you felt that you had the right to desecrate something that I put up you know, and my husband put up to share our support. Her home isn't alone. <coughs> the Davis Police Department shared this video of a man taking a knife through an Israeli flag just down the street and believes both cases are connected. Well, in this case, you know, the victims uh, both believe that they were targeted based on their faith and, and that in of itself in, in uh, conjunction with the crime occurring makes it a crime. Since the events on October 7th, has the Davis Police Department seen an increase in reports of either anti-Semitic or Islamophobic activity or possible hate crimes? I haven't seen any specific increase in any area. Um, the, these two, again, were, were very unique. The family whose home caught the suspect on surveillance video has a new flag hanging now. In a statement to KCRA 3, they said in part, quote, this incident is yet another example of the challenges the Jewish community has faced over the past six months months, indicating a troubling rise in anti-Semitism in our town, adding, quote, our hope is that all residents of Davis can proudly and safely express their cultural and heritage pride. It gets back to that whole, whole anti-Semitism, which seems to keep cropping up. And right now I feel like we're in 1933 in Europe, and but we're not going to hide. Which is why this family has a new flag hanging, too. My mother and my grandmother were Holocaust survivors, and we lost hundreds, literally, of cousins in Europe. Plus a new surveillance camera system. To me, it's real personal. In Davis, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Jewish organizations are speaking out tonight about this hate crime investigation. In a statement to KCRA 3, the Jewish Federation of the Sacramento region said in part, these deliberate actions are not only attacks on private property, but are deeply disrespectful assaults on the principles of freedom and tolerance that define our community. We stand firmly against any form of anti-Semitism and xenophobia, and we support every individual's right to express their cultural and national identities without fear of retribution or violence. If you know who is responsible for these suspected hate crimes or have surveillance video from early Friday morning, Davis police would like you to give them a call.